so in this session we are going to learn about HL7.2 which is nothing but version let's check what is version over here so I'm clicking on HL7 MSH12 which is nothing but this particular part the version ID so it says 2.5 so what is version and what is version ID version is nothing but the versions of HL7 so it might be ranging from 2.3 2.5 2.7 the latest released the latest upgradation of the technology of HL7 with this particular applications they are going to use so this particular HL7 message is using 2.5 and the both sending and receiving application should be compatible with this version if any of this particular uh, application is not compatible they should lower their version to the older versions which they support so it's always important uh, before we implement any interface between one application or other application we need to understand what this particular application epic supports and what particular application sms supports so you can see there are like multiple versions over here 2.2 2.3 2.3.1 each and every version has some add-ons so the most important part over here is like the latest version should be backward compatible so if you are using any latest version like 2.6 it should even support 2.4 it doesn't mean that it would crash 2.4 so they should be backward compatible so healthcare organizations and systems consider the implications of upgrading the HL7 version always try to add some new versions new add-on to the HL7 that will really help uh, the changes in the healthcare life cycle so even the backward compatibility some systems may not support but it is always uh, good to release the versions which will uh, support the backward compatibility so let's go and check here is one of the example the first uh, healthcare uh, HL7 version 2 released in 1989 again the version 3 in 2003 in between there are like lot of other versions which are released and it's keep on keep on updating currently we are actually using the FHIR uh, in the latest model but it doesn't mean that each and every application in the world is using FHIR so still there are people using the version of 2.3 2.5 2.6 so it's it takes a lot of time to convert to complete FHIR of course it's an off topic I'll just explain the different versions and the difference between all this HL7 so each and every version have some update and some specification so just uh, this is a basic description or the diagram you can see how the versions and upgradation happen so that's how the version says when someone types 2.8 so that is nothing but the version over here so you never get confused over here what is version so whenever you see it you can just think okay it's a 2.5 version so whenever there are issues of uh, the backward compatibility or forward compatibility this way this version ID will really help you to let the boat applications know whether they are supporting it or not thank you